Okay guys, I have sad news. As you can see, we're here at the airport. We left India after two months, two months traveling India. We left, well, we stayed a month, then we went a month to Nepal and then another month to India. But uh, yeah, it was time for a new adventure. So I took a 24 hour journey from Mumbai to Istanbul and from Istanbul to Mongolia. So we are now at the Genghis Khan Air International Airport waiting for Jury to pick us up because we're going straight to a national park. We're going straight to, to the adventure. So uh, we're gonna wait here for a little bit and then we'll see Jury and we'll go to the park. What do you have? Like, is it okay if I make a video? Okay. Okay, we're in the car. Jury's here. Having Tom Tom coffee. <laughs> Tom Tom coffee. And this is our guide. What is your name again? My name is Ayuna. Ayuna. Yeah. And the driver. Yeah, Hosso. Hosso, okay, okay, okay. And we're going to, what was the name again? Yeah, Terrace National Park. Terrace National Park, yeah. yeah. First we go to the horseback statue, the Genghis uh, Khan's oh, statue. Yeah. The tallest horseback statue in the world, yeah. There is so many horseback yeah, statues, yeah. that one is the tallest one. I think I've seen it online, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Tall. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so you can see the horses everywhere. There are three million horses yeah, now. Three million horses, three million horses yeah. and three million people. Yeah, three million horses. So every person has one horse. Yeah. <laughs> and the horses just roam around. So they are just free to go where they want. But if they want food or water, they know where to go. Yeah. They have a well for food. They go back to the owner. Four seasons, they all stay outside. Yeah. They never get inside the shelter. Okay. Stay outside, they yeah. Stay outside. Uh, during the night time, they all the time is moving and eating, and the uh, daytime, they always sleep. Yeah. Night time never sleep. Night, night time never sleep. They never sleep because they protect the uh, small homes from the wolf. From the wolf, yeah. Uh, is okay. There a wolf here? Yeah, then we have a mountain and a lot. But uh, it's not easy to see the wolf, uh, the human. They never attack the people, they always attack the animals if they are hungry. Yeah? So normally it was. Uh, Shelter, small sheep and goats. The horses are very strong and big animal, easy to protect themselves. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh wow, check the the horns. Yeah. They put the paint the horn. Yeah. 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 Easy to oh, because they have different horns. Oh, wow. So you can recognize them from the horns. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. They look really cute. There is a white-tailed gazelle over there, wild animal on your right side. Oh, the deer. Yeah, white. You can open your window if you want. Mm. Yeah. I don't think you can really see it because. Yeah. If they don't, especially the springtime. Oh, they don't yeah. Have, uh, any much grass yeah? mm. in the mountain, yeah. they come down from the mountain and from the south side they I don't think you can really see them with the GoPro but there's like yeah. a lot of deer, like 20 of them so they are also yeah. very nomad uh, nomad oh and there's a, like a carcass there yeah. <laughs> at that one wow we're gonna go do so much exploring here in Mongolia so much to see <laughs> Guys, this is the, the Trans-Siberia Express. This is the rail for the Trans-Siberia Express. Wow. It's not, it's not running now because of the war in Ukraine. 
But uh, there's a different train now going? Uh, the local train. The local train, okay. The 270 kilometers above the 350 kilometers to the north side, and we have a two big cities. Yeah. Dakhil city, Erdun city, Ulaanbaatar is the capital city. Yeah. How often the train runs here? Train every day. Yeah, every morning. Like yeah. once a day. Check it out! <laughs> it's huge! 40 meters! Yeah. Underground there is uh, some historical museum, yeah? We will visit history museum city. Yeah. First floor is uh, mostly have a uh, nice big boot, a Mongolian big boot, yeah. big, uh, uh, like a whip, yeah? And because uh, this place, uh, Chinggis Khan, when he lost his uh, nine beautiful horses, he's yeah. looking for on the way, he found a small wooden whip on, on, on this place in the ground. If the Mongolian group uh, uh, found the wooden whip, that one is the uh, omen of the success. He was very happy at the time. I will be, one day will be successful. Yeah. Will be good soon, yeah? That's why this place is dedicated for him. And also these complexes surrounded the 36 columns. Yeah. Because uh, after Chinggis Khan, we had uh, 36 kings. Chinggis Khan, one of them, the first one. So totally together, we have a uh, 37 kings. Yeah? Wow. That's why his column is uh, symbolized for yeah. the 36 kings. And second floor is mostly uh, like a uh, fancy restaurant, yeah? yeah. And then we go up there on the top of them, 30 meters high. And yeah. You see the oh, the whip, the whip he has is also wooden. Yeah. It's like a tree. Yeah, yeah. That is wooden whip is symbolized for the glided the yeah. golden, yeah? You see holding the golden whip and other side sword and look through his hometown. Yeah. There is a, one of the women's statue, can you see? There is a oh yeah, there's a statue in there, yeah. Hasn't uh, finished yet. Okay. That one is Chinggis Khan's mother's complex. Okay. Because Chinggis Khan always respected, uh, highly respected his mother. Yeah. Because he, when he was nine years old, his dad was poisoned with other tribes and oh, uh, wow. died. Then many people wants to enemy wants to kill the Chinggis Khan. Always behind the background and smart uh, made of the decision solution. Always big advisor for his, for his mom. Wow. Yeah. That's okay. why his mom is over there. The, we call it Olu Mother. Yeah. Olu Mother. Yeah, one okay. of the queen of Mongolia, famous one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you cold? Yeah, pretty cold now. Are you cold? Yeah. Wow, this place is beautiful. I think these are all the kings. Oh, check this boot. <laughs> wow, so cool. This is really nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. They put the, the 36 kings uh, portrait. Yeah. And uh, this is new one, I think. Yeah. We got, uh, the one month ago, like here, there is nothing. No. Uh, now is a. Uh, oh, this is really top. new, like a month now. Yeah. On the top of the previous one and after the previous one, there were 36 kings. Kings. That's why the totally 20, 37 kings. Does Mongolia still have a king now? No, we don't have king. President. And the boot? What is the boot? Okay. It's made of the 225 cow leather. Ah, Same. okay. Yeah. It's nine meters, wow. uh, nine, uh, nine meter tall and three ton. Wow, it also has a swastika. Yeah, a swastika. That one is a Genghis Khan before the Hitler. He used it for the state stamp. Oh, before Hitler. Before Hitler. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. It's from the yeah. from the Buddhism. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the Hindu, yeah. Now we call it. It's uh, swastika means Mongolian black. Yeah, yeah. Boots for the bottom side is flat because uh, we are nomad and uh, always step on the grass. Yeah, don't destroy the animal, don't, don't destroy the grass. Yeah, that's why. Right. And the big boots like this way, yeah, the horse cap riding, not mm -hmm. to stick stuck in a stirrup. Yeah, yeah. and also it's uh, very universal. If you want to sleep, you just uh, take up and sleep. Yeah, so, yeah, everywhere sitting is okay. oh. protect from the some snake or some animals. Yeah. yeah. Also, if you just a horse that riding, sometimes other family's dog is chasing you and biting him, they can't bite you. Yeah? They can <laughs> bite, okay. Like yeah, so it's for, yeah, yeah it's for a really yeah. good use. Oh. 
Oh, it was a little walk here up the statue. Yeah. Check this out. He's a goat also. That's the basement, no? Yeah, I think it's a foundation for the gear. Gear. Yeah, so we just found out, like a yurt is the Russian name for the tents here in Mongolia. But the Mongols itself, they call it gear. G-E-R. And you see them everywhere if you look closely in the distance. They're literally everywhere. Of course, there's a little camp here. We're gonna check one out later. But I think there's like a whole school trip is coming to the Genghis Khan. Hello. Hello. Wow. Check these dogs. The Mongolian dogs are huge. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's also your poo poo? Don't do it. I thought he was going to eat it. Look all the animals here. They have horses, camels, everything. Oh, taking a picture here. Because Mongolia is making some kind of the slaughter, yeah. the sheep and uh, sheep and uh, goat, yeah, and they make the barbecue. Yeah. Then uh, the big head maybe go to the. Oh, dog. so it's food for the dog. Yeah, for free for the bird, yeah. Oh, for the we bird. We eat everything. We boil it. In. Yeah. This one is, uh, I don't know, uh, someone put that. Hello. Hello. Okay, we're gonna do some archery. Yeah. You're gonna do archery? This one good? Good, good. How do you do that? This? Oh, he's getting the camel away. Smart. Ah, you gotta do it. Maybe put the camels further. Yeah, the target is the skin. Okay, yeah. Okay. Ah. Thirty-eight meters. Okay. Two feet. Oh, it's not. It's not a sharp point. Okay. Five arrows. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Don't it's shoot someone. <laughs> Don't kill someone. Whoa. No! You are very good. If you shoot, he will give you another arrow bonus. Okay. Yeah. Oh, bonus? Yeah, so bonus. bonus. If you shoot the target, yeah, they will give you another one arrow if bonus. If I shoot the guy? <laughs> He's going there. <laughs> Third one, four of Tanemen, yeah. How he gets, eh? Oh, yeah, I'm still trying to do it. Uh-huh. It's going to be shoot. I'm still trying to do it. I think it hit. Yeah, it's a hit, yeah, exactly. Nice. Opa! Oh, wow. Last one. On snow, eh? Oh, wow. Yeah, but there. Oh, that's cool. 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 Oh, it's a golden eagle. Golden eagle. Yeah, the people, it's different. big. He's a Kazakh person, yeah? That's why he's a bird. Okay. So, uh, maybe five or six kilo. Five, six kilo, yeah. the bird. Yeah, he's huge, yeah. Uh... Okay, we stopped here for a little lunch here. Lunch break. At a gear. So we're going to eat in a gear for the first time. Oh. Check it out. This is just the side of the road. Oh wow. 
Oh. Hello. <laughs> People are confused. Oh, it's, a, it's nice and warm here from the fire. Let's, let's have a look there. Oh, the, there's another gear connected for the cooking. Oh, wow. Hello. You like egg? Yeah? Yeah, egg is yeah? okay. Yeah? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and the whole kitchen. Cooking here. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so an interesting thing about the gear is that you would think like the outside to get it warm in the winter, yeah, but this one is a camel it's isolated camel with leather. camel leather yeah, instead of the nail. This one. It's never break these woods. No. Yeah? No. If they use for the nail, easy to break these wood. Yeah. That's why useful for these camel skin and leather instead of them. Yeah, so it's it's isolated with leather and sheep wool as well. Yeah, sheep yeah. wool. Sheep and wool. Sheep wool. And wood, yeah. Yeah. Uh, large. Yeah, the wood. And the light comes in from yeah. the roof here. Yeah. yeah, very interesting. So yeah, with the heating, it can be. It's it's really warm in here. Having some milk tea. Where was the milk from? From the cow. Yeah, cows. From the cow. From these areas, yeah. Try some milk tea. It's, salt. it's a bit salty, yeah. It's a bit salty. The green tea and boil it well, then put some salt and the milk and boil it well. Oh, with the, they boiled with the salt. Yeah, boiled with the salt. Oh. Yeah, it's a little bit like it's not sweet. It's a little bit saltier. Mm -hmm. Typical Mongolian tea. How's your tea? It's pretty sweet actually. Honey as well, the black tea. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, fried egg. Mm -hmm. Oh, smells good. Yeah. Okay, the main dish is here. These are Mongolian pancakes. With a filling with pancake. What was the name again? Kushu. 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 Okay, let's try one. Ooh, the kind of deep fried pancake with the potato. Mm. Oh, it tastes really good. It tastes really good. There's not too much, too much flavors, mm -hmm. but it's really good. All this salt, that salt. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, salt? Salt, that salt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't use many flavors, yeah? Especially for seasoning, yeah? Yeah. All this salt, sometimes put seasoning, is dip, dip, it's for yeah. tourists, yeah? For tourists, yeah. <laughs> for tourists, they have ketchup. Yeah. Just like in Nepal. Yeah. Everything Tourist, was with yeah. the ketchup. It's not only... Uh, Porn is Mongolian, some people like to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. In Nepal, they gave me a pancake with just a normal pancake with ketchup. Mm. But it was really, it was nice. It was nice. Mm -hmm. And Jury has one with the beef. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was not easy to get like a vegetarian meal here. So now they made for me the, the, the pancake with only potato. Mm. It was really good actually. I will try it with um, mm -hmm. soya sauce maybe. Just to try a little bit. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. We are now in Teret National Park here, just outside of Ulaanbaatar. And we're walking now to one of the famous sites here in the park, or maybe is it the famous site in in Mongolia? Maybe very famous. Check it out. It's the Turtle Rock. It's huge. It's 20 meters high. 24. Yeah, 24. 24. Meters 24, high. 24 meters high. Granite rock. 
It's the shape of the turtle. And the park is really popular here, especially in the summer. You have all kinds of like gear, uh, camping sites here as well. You see four of them. So that's pretty cool. You see people there riding the camels. Okay, let's let's check this uh, turtle walk a little bit closer. History: There were two Mongolian strong heroes, always completing each other. Yeah, who is the strongest one? Especially the one of the Mongol, right Mongol, left Mongol, to divide the 16th century. So the one of them, they decided who is the strongest. Let's fight. Yeah. So they just uh, uh, one of the say the date and the time. Yeah. So one of the uh, hero already knew I will be defeated, the other one. So he come here because he uh, carrying a lot of camel inside lots of jewelry and also Manjurian, one of the queen for the present. They just carry here and because he already knew that, that's why he was hiding. He hiding in these rocky places, rocky mount mm -hmm. mountain behind middle of there. There is a small hole and cave. So he put all jewelry and money put the bottom of the rock. Yeah. But Manju and one of the queen wants to be take all jewelry. I wanted to take it. Angry hero, very angry, and he with her wife Ooh. and threw it on the top of bottom of the rock. Ooh. And then he gone left, yeah. So from that time the people heard some of the noise of the woman's sound and clinking the coins sound of this turtle rock before it was named the money rock. Oh. Before it was named Maria Rock. That, that's why the m many people want to take that money and jewelry. And the winter time they slaughtered the big uh, cows or yaks. Yeah? Yeah. The big tide holding the ropes and put down the wet meat. Stick all of the coins. Yeah. And taking it out, the old coins suddenly live and shake down. Nobody took it. Many people died because nobody uh, couldn't take that. Uh, so the money is still the, there. Money is still there. People say it. Oh. It's like keep the money on the wow. bottom of the rock. Yeah. So many people want to take it, but couldn't take it. That's why they mm, all uh, big hole of the uh, rock. Yeah. Yeah. The big hole of the rocks. They put the big rock. Yeah. Then then it's closed. Then after people say it, it's uh, name it after change it the name, shape of the rock. Wow. Before it was the money rock. The money rock. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. Okay guys, we're a little bit up the, at the end here from the park. This is a very important Buddhist area with a very important famous uh, monastery there uh, where Buddhists practice meditation and other kinds of things. During the communist uh, era, to the USSR, uh, Buddhism was banned from Mongolia. So for a long time, there was no Buddhism, no religion here. And after, like in the 1990s, when the uh, communist empire collapsed, basically, they were rebuilding some of the Buddhist, hello, some of the Buddhist temples and areas. And this is one of them. So as you can see, there's some alms and some religious drawings on the mountains as well. There, there, and there's all kinds of little sites here and little messages. This is actually, you can stay here if you want to learn to meditate. You can stay here for free and then you can meditate with the monks in the, in the monastery. Okay, thank you so much for the food. It was really delicious. Oh. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay, guys. Let's go. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Slamming the doors here. Check it out. Check the view. Incredible. So beautiful. Oh, there's a cow behind it. Behind the gear. Let me see. Julie asked for some extra wood for the fireplace. Let's see what's happening now. 
Mm. Hello. Hold on. And? Oh. These are the old calls. Oh, he's gonna put them there in the, in the thing. Ooh. The dogs ran off. <laughs> Ooh. I think he's gonna get more wood. So. Or something. <laughs> no clue. Oh, there he goes. Huh? Oh, that's the new fire, fire stuff. Uh. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get a bunch here, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. oh it's like a cow shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yes. <laughs> wow. I didn't know that we were using this here. Like we were. Is that hot? Oh, uh, yeah. Use it like this, yeah. Ah. Oh, it's pretty warm still. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of heat coming off. Oh, and now he's putting it like this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, wow. it's still, it's still, it was still really hot, so we only have to put it in. Now it's okay. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. It's no good. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Wow. Okay, there he goes. Oh, there's a lot of smoke coming out there now, so you see? Let's see. Yeah. You just have to wait. There were like bur like like boiling hot coals under there. So it's gonna be hot now. Can we just move that like a little bit closer? <laughs> yeah. There's a big there's now a big like uh why on my side? No, there's a big bucket. There's a big bucket with cow dung <laughs> to keep warm, to be, to be warm in the night. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't smell because it's really dry. Yeah. It dried up, but yeah. <laughs> ah, this is how you live in the in the yurt or gear here on the countryside in Mongolia. Fire is getting crazy yeah, already like after like five inside. minutes. Yeah, let's see. Check it out. Maybe, maybe this is not a good idea to do. But whoa! Super smoky. Easy. Oh, no, it's, good. it's burning like hell here. No. <laughs> yeah. No. There's no. Uh... Oh, what's out? It's a dog coming. Oh yeah, it's burning like really, really crazy. It's good. It is burning <laughs> hot crazy. in here. <laughs> it is crazy hot. Yeah, this is the, oh, there's nothing hello. in between. Gotta leave the door open a little bit so the smoke is getting outside. It's getting pretty dark now. So we have to stay inside because otherwise the wolves are coming to eat some people. No, I'm kidding. Guys, this is the end of the video from here. Maybe we're gonna film in the morning. I don't know. Let's see. But uh, see you in the next one here from Mongolia. Bye bye.